Here we go with another shootout. Oh boy, this is the one. Oh man, so thank you, you know who you are, down in the comments for inspiring me to do this shootout. I think it's a very appropriate shootout. It is gonna be between the A6 Nova Blast 4 and the A6 Glide Ride Max. Two maximalist, really squishy shoes that are two totally different. Uh, size of the spectrum if it's my opinion and I feel like these are definitely you know something that could be considered into the same class but which one will win well let's go through it line by line and find out here at the end of the video thank you so much for tuning in my name is Jason we're gonna jump right into it here we go the Nova Blast 4 so if you watch my channel and if you watch my reviews especially of this shoe here you will know that I am super duper excited about the Nova Blast 4. I'm still excited about this. In fact, I did a review on the Super Blast 2. Just to be honest, I was thinking about the Nova Blast 4 while I was running in the Super Blast 2. I was wondering, man, if I could just have the Super Blast on the flats and the Nova Blast on the hills, we'll call it a Supernova, even though Adidas already did that, but we can do a Supernova uh, Turbo Plus Eco Blast. Yes. <laughs> FF. <laughs> but man, just some of the things going on, especially the price of the shoe, just blew me away. Okay. And then, of course, the Glide Ride Max. Oh man, you'll remember me going on and on and on and on and on and on about this shoe here, especially in the realm of heel striking. I feel like it was such a delightful shoe. Oh man, I'm loving the two stacks of foam here. Man, this is just a very, very extremely comfortable shoe. Man, this is going to be a fun shootout y'all all right so let's jump into it we got the laces here we got the lasix of the nova blast here and let me pick up the um glide ride max take a feel so look there is some width going on to the nova blast 4 and there's not so much going on on the glide ride max but what i am noticing is there's a little bit of fraying and a little bit of extra fluff going on to the nova blast 4 and a more premium feeling lace of the glide ride max um, but it's also a skinnier skinnier lace so you know let's actually consider the eyelet chain as it relates to the laces and the upper um, that's considering the uh, material and of course um, the tongue itself i feel like the combination of things plus the um, uh, separation of the material one two three on both sides here and then saying one two three so they are both disarticulated um, pieces of the eyelet chain uh, as far as the security goes so dang Dang, dang, dang. So what's what's the what's the top one? I don't know. I think it's the tie, actually. <laughs> the ties? The ties. <laughs> the ties are a tie. Oh, man. That's what's going on here in the basement, here in the shoe lab, y'all. It's late at night. What are we going to do? Anyway, so taking a look at the tongues. Now, now we're going to take a few of these. And is there a difference between the tongues? Oh, man. They both kind of feel the same. But if anything, the Glide Ride Max has a little bit more of a plushness to it that is a bit more unique universal as it works its way down all the way down yeah that's right all the way down the whole tongue it's super duper plush it's gusseted on both sides and then you have a look and feel of the nova blast 4 where it's plush on the top and it's got these fun little wings there as it kind of uh, touches the top of the foot it's a very nice and squishy material but then once it kind of gets past this part here where my thumb's at it goes like it flatlines y'all it's just it's needing it's needing some chest compressions i'm just saying because there is no waveform at all going on past that sorry a6 it's just the truth y'all um so it's a, a very lightweight one and then i also remember that this uh this material wanted to kind of collapse in as I was putting it on, which um, I'm a dad and I got kids and I got zero time for, for messing around with, with tongue nonsense. So I'm going to go with the tongue of the Glide Ride Max. I feel like that was just a more um, a dad friendly tongue. <laughs> 
<laughs> it has some good squish. It worked well with the laces and it definitely worked well with this material. So good job. Winning out on the tongue battle there with <laughs> Clyde Ride Max. Okay, so getting my hand into the material and just now we're gonna take a feel of the actual material of the toe box. Yeah, it's um, it's soft, but it's not super duper squishy. Um, and getting my hand all the way down to the end of the toe box, it's got like a little bit of padding. It's got some material that just kind of takes away the friction uh, if those toes were to be there. I remember the, uh, actually both of these shoes have a very nice wide accommodating uh, uh, toe box that didn't have any kind of pressure at all. So I'm not really too worried about it. Now getting my hand down into the Nova Blast 4. Yeah, this is a lot scratchier y'all, listen. Ooh, scratch scratch <laughs> versus the glide ride max oh man and uh it's it's got a little bit more stretch actually than the max does which is kind of interesting um that said i feel like it's a little bit wider in the toe box and definitely quite a bit more room um you know uh, there's not really that that fluffy material on the inside of this one either so hmm i don't know i'm gonna I'm gonna actually go with the Nova Blast 4 as far as the toe box goes because I felt like it had a little bit more room, um, but at the same time, it was a little bit more secure to my first and fifth uh, metatarsal heads that kind of kept my foot from sliding uh, back and forth. And I felt like there was a little bit of wiggle wiggling going on with the Glide Ride Max, but you know, we're just kind of picking at straws here. Okay, so coming on back to the heel collar. So let's actually feel the heel, feel the heel, come on, man. <laughs> and um, it's it's actually, this is a little bit more scratchier than this. This is a little bit more plush. And I almost feel like there's a little bit more cushioning, especially towards the back here, and getting my hand kind of into the uh, the cavern. There's a, there's a padding that goes all along the back as it touches the heel um, with the Max versus the Four. The Four does have a little bit, but it's a, it's a lot less, and it's a lot less noticeable in the Four versus the Max. So looking at the lateral medial sides now, hmm, feeling that, yeah, that's, this is, this has got a lot more fluff and a lot more material to it, where this is a bit, you know, kind of separate, right? It's, it's here, and then it just stops. It just, ends and there's nothing to it uh, similar to the heel but here there is a nice uh, band of the material but then at the same time it works its way down all the way to the sides you know just kind of continuously create this seamless uh, transition from heel collar to heel proper <laughs> Um, as it relates to the shoe itself. Okay and then kind of feeling the stiffness the stiffness of the heel um, they're kind of the same actually. If it, actually, no, the, the Nova Blast 4 is a little bit looser than the Glide Ride Max. But check this out. You've got these super wings, super wings going on that kind of secure that heel laterally and medially there and there. And you don't really have that hardly at all with the Max, which is quite interesting because this, this shoe performed so much better as a heel striker than the Nova Blast 4. Um, they both did well in terms of, you know, um, accepting the heel strike, but I feel like the, the Glide Ride Max definitely did a lot better with that. It could be the squishiness of the foam, which we can you know, talk about here in a second, but um, it's interesting. Like, look at the chunk of the 4 versus the Max, and it's just, it's just so fun comparing these shoes side by side, you guys. So much fun. Um, and then, yeah, just taking a, feel, a look at the overlay of the material with the four. And what I'm looking at is just kind of, you know, usually there's like a band of material that wants to start here and work its way up and around. And there is a little bit of that. It's kind of integrated into the design itself. And then um, kind of gets a little bit hard here. Whereas the, uh, the Max um, definitely has, you know, some pretty obvious overlay and you can kind of feel it on the inside, really working its way up towards that heel. And then it's got this business here, which definitely adds a little bit more structure and rigidity. Whereas it doesn't look super obvious from the outside, there are also some definite uh, internal uh, architectural pieces going on with the Mac. So a lot more uh, attention to detail in the heel. So the heel will go to the Glide Ride Max. Oh yes, oh boy, here we go. So now we're gonna pull out the insert insert alert for the glide ride max and then we got the insert of the four coming out come on now here we go Ooh, ooh interesting stuff 
Mm, okay, so taking a feel of each one. So on the top where your foot goes in, mm, this is like nice and slidey and premium and suede like, whereas this one's got a little bit of scratch to it, a little bit of scratch. But at the same time, look how flimsy this one is and look how not flimsy this one is. Interesting. So equal miles on both shoe and you can kind of see a bit of a difference there. So having a look at the actual heel cup, the heel cup on the four is way more pronounced than it is on the max. Interesting. Not great with a heel strike. Great with a heel strike. I don't know what's going on. Whoa. And then the, um, the, punc the punctuation of the uh, arch here on the four versus the max, you know, not nearly as high here. Oh man. You know, I, this is a more premium feeling one, um, but I'm actually gonna go with the insert of the Nova Blast 4. I feel like it was just a lot more attention to detail. Um, I'm not too concerned about this scratchiness. You know, you're gonna be wearing socks. So um, I'm gonna go with the insert for the 4. Getting my hands in here and just kind of having a feel around. Now I'm on the top of the midsole of the Nova Blast 4 and it's got this stickiness to it. And I'm getting my hands kind of into the uh, material of the sidewall of the toe box. And there's like this nice smooth transition. I don't really feel a bunch of stitches. It's not abrasive. So it actually feels quite comfortable. The Glide Ride Max, um, there's not really a stickiness to it at all. There's like this nice fluffy stuff actually that goes on the top of the, uh, the missile foam here inside the shoe without the insert in. And uh, feeling here, you know, there's maybe a little bit more scratch than there is in the Nova Blast 4. So, hmm, I don't know, but I do like this, this squishiness here that's going on on the top. So uh, just the internal construction nod goes to the Glide Ride Max. Okay, moving on to the midsole of the Nova Blast 4 versus the Glide Ride Max. So in the Nova Blast 4, you have FF Blast Plus eco all throughout and you have 41 and 33 with an eight millimeter drop was which is actually a decent amount of drop um that said it didn't really feel like a super aggressive drop at all this foam is extremely bouncy it is like one of the best uh budget friendly bounces that uh that i experienced and that was my uh, title of my video for the uh for the review and I still feel that way. Super bouncy, super duper fun. It didn't really matter if it was on the heel or the midfoot, this shoe delivered 128%, especially whenever it came to the foam. I love the geometry here and take a look. Take a look at this landing platform. Oh my, my, it is a pyramid. It is a pyramid, the Luxor Hotel going from here all the way up and this side too. Oh my gosh, A6, what do we have going on here? I do supinate, so I come on hard on the outside of my foot. And as I said before, it just like, you know, grabs it and then accepts it and reduces the uh, inertia of my foot and it just, you know, transmits it here to the first ray and then boom, I'm off. I'm off to the races. And we can talk about the external geometry of the shoe here in a little bit. But man, oh man, oh man, I do like the midsole foam of the Nova Blast 4. We have the A6 Glide Ride Max with the FF Blast Max on top and the FF Blast Plus Eco. Again, the same foam this year on the Nova Blast on the bottom here. So you have one and two foams going on here in the shoe. So I remember uh, in the video and in the, the running and everything like that, how delightful these two foams are. There's the, there's the synergy and the combination of the two foams. They just work so well. Oh my gosh. I, I just absolutely love how tolerant and how forgiving, um, but it didn't exactly have the world's most um, obvious energy return, okay? As far as the foams go and as far as the geometry and as far as the ride goes. Um, but again, I felt like between the two that the heel strike of the of the Max was significantly better and, and just more optimal in the Max versus the four, okay? But as far as like the midfoot strike goes, no, 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 no. This, this to me did not do well at a midfoot strike at all. Like I would come down and like my foot would slide forward and it just like, was this like i'm pulling this this dead shoe along the road <laughs> at least for me um you know it might work well for others but it just you know it wasn't there for me but again it came alive as a heel striker 46 in the heel and then 40 up front for a six millimeter drop so a little bit more foam actually uh and away from the ground than the black than the uh, nova blast 4. Um, but again you know i didn't feel like it was a ton of energy return but as far as like longevity on the heels uh it was definitely there versus the four but overall 
I'm gonna have to say that the, uh, the fun factor with the foam and just the overall delivery goes to the Nova Blast for 100%. All right, so let's pop these on the scale, find out how much they weigh. All right, Nova Blast 4 in a men's size 11, fit true to size, we got a 10.1 ounces or 287 grams. At max, men's size 11 is 11.4 ounces, whoa. Or 322 grams. Ooh, so the Max is definitely a heavier shoe than the Nova Blast 4. And just again, with the fun factor and everything, the weight uh, award definitely goes to the Nova Blast 4 versus the Max. All right, so just because I'm curious, so let's actually do a sampling of durometers around the shoe to figure out exactly which one is squishier. Well, up front on the fifth toe of the Nova Blast 4 is 35. And we got the lateral heel, which is 34 and a half. And the medial heel, which is 35.5 and around the first toe is 31.5 interesting now we have two foams on the max so let's actually do both we'll start on the fifth toe on the top that's that max foam that is 30.5 down below that's the ff plus plus eco which is 25.5 Ooh, squishy now the lateral heel on the top is 19 and then below that is 25.5 medial heel on top is 26.5 and below that is 26.5 interesting okay up by the first toe we got on the top 20.5 and then 26 so interesting stuff there's not really a way to say which one is better or not um, but if you like a squishier foam it's definitely going to go to the um, uh, Glide Ride Max versus the 4, which it seems like it has a little bit of a stiffer foam. But also keep in mind that you have two different foams, two different durometers, but I'd say overall the Max feels squishier, which in some cases can feel like you're kind of bottoming out whenever you're going through that four foot. I know I noticed that in the comments as it related to the video for the Glide Ride Max. All right, on to the price differences. So the Glide Ride Max is $170. <laughs> And this shoe here is $140. No competition at all. The price award is definitely going to go to the Nova Blast 4. Um, yeah, there's just no, no way. And I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't know how they managed to get this, the price of the shoe down so far. It's either that or that's how the prices of shoes should be priced and that everything else is inflated. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I digress. I love the price of the shoe. I would not change it for um, at all. In fact, they could probably charge more. <laughs> but don't tell ASICs that. And the award for the price is definitely gonna go here. The Budget Bounce shoe of 2024 is right here in my right hand. Oh boy, right here on the channel. And then moving on to the outsoles of the shoes. On the Glide Ride Max, you have hybrid ASIC strip up front and AHAR Plus in the back, giving a two foam experience. And it's actually got a little bit of squish to it with a nice decoupled groove going right down the center. I really did enjoy this foam, it's a lot. You know, it's really squishy and it's not a ton, which I really, really enjoyed. And the outsole here is just the A6 uh, Hybration Rubber, the AHAR. And uh, it's just, you know, uh, same thing. It's got a disarticulated bit for uh, some of the external geometry of the shoe as it bounces along. It's got this really nice, fun trampoline, which definitely plays into the energy return of the shoe and the gait pattern and everything like that. So um, I really, really enjoyed the external balance and the external geometry of the shoe. Which with the Nova Blast 4 um, versus the Glide Ride Max. I feel like there's definitely a lot more fun factor and energy return as far as the outsole goes, given this big trampoline here, no matter what I did, even if it was uh, directly on the heel or landing directly on the forefoot, um, that this uh, outsole definitely accommodated flex and grooved and gave me energy return as it was intended. So the uh, outsole goes to the Nova Blast 4. Okay, so it is time for me to make a decision as far as which shoe it's gonna be. So the uses of the Nova Blast 4 is going to be for recovery runs. It's going to be for easy runs. It's going to be for daily runs. It's going to be for tempo runs. It's going to be for long distance runs. And you guys can even get away with racing in this shoe. I feel like this is literally the everything shoe. You can do just about anything in here and it, it will show up for you. It will go to bat for you. I feel like the durability of the shoe is going to be there. Um, I have no doubt in my mind at all. 
4, the Nova Blast 4 versus the Glide Ride Max. Uh, very much a, a recovery run shoe, easy run shoe, definitely a long distance shoe. Uh, good for the heel strikers. Um, every day, yes. Um, but as far as like um, getting up on your toes and really, really uh, moving out and everything like that, no, it really didn't do it. Uh, would I take this to a race? No, I would not bring this to a race. <laughs> um, but as far as like durability goes, uh, it's, it's possible that the uh, the um, Glide Ride Max actually might last a little bit longer. It might retain its original function more uh, versus the Nova Blast 4, which might have a potential of breaking down sooner, uh, but only time will tell there. And not to mention the price of the shoe, significantly less as far as the good package goes for the Nova Blast 4. Uh, the upper, all things considered, the shoe battle winner is gonna be the Nova Blast 4. This is the budget bounce shoe of 2024. It's got everything going for it and it is in my opinion, affordable. I would say grab these while you can. In fact, uh, if you want to just, uh, you can do it now or you can wait until these go on clearance. But man, whenever they do on clearance, they are gonna go fast. So I would definitely scoop up these when you can, while you can. The A6 Nova Blast 4 has won the shootout between that and the Glide Ride Max. That was fun. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. My name is Jason. I'm a nurse practitioner in podiatry. And I hope that you liked this video. If you did, feel free to click like. If you want to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click like and subscribe and do it all. One stop shop, y'all. <laughs> So uh, I work in podiatry and I'll let that process kind of uh, guide my shoe reviews, but this is not a medical channel. It is a fun filled family running channel and that's what it is, not medical at all. So there you go guys. All right, everybody. So um, that is it. I appreciate you. So remember the channel is all about family and coffee and running shoes. So as far as coffee goes, we're all about the fire department coffee down here. Check that out. They were kind enough to hook me up with a big box and um, I already had purchased a bunch of coffee from them. So I'm just like, you know, got fire department coffee coming out of my ears. I got it over here on this table here too. <laughs> Can you tell it has caffeine in it? Oh man. So the link for these shoes will be down in the uh, description below as a link for fire department coffee and as an added bonus and thank you to you guys especially for making it to the end of this video i will have a little promo code for fire department coffee if you are interested in saving a little bit of money all right everybody that's it hopefully you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one